My name is Milan Kordostani. We're here with Next Play talking about what's next in tech. We're here with Manus. Manus, nice yeah. to meet you. Can you tell us how much do you use AI in your life right now and like in what ways? Right now, basically writing anything is, I mean, using ChatGPT is very easy. So applying for jobs, editing photos, editing videos. We have a new thing where it changes the way you talk and it like changes the language also. Like you speak in English and it converts into Hindi and it looks like you're speaking in Hindi. There's that sort of stuff. So yeah, I've been using all that stuff. And also, I think it will be useful for the postgraduate thing that I'm pursuing right now. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. I'm doing masters in telecommunication. Recently, like I've been browsing on the internet, and the next thing is like using AI to predict attacks on networks. The companies for big tech companies, they have these firewalls and networks, right, yeah. that they operate on, and uh, using AI to predict uh, how they happen or when they happen, where the anomalies are. So you're very well versed on AI. What fears do you have about AI? And if there's anything that you you think about, like mm, the government would have be helpful to come and intervene or to regulate, what do you think of? Actually, I haven't thought this very much, but one of my roommates is uh, working on this where uh, AI is used to like validate profiles to check for credit or uh, issuing credit cards or something like that. This is a point where there'll be a point where uh, you don't know the reason why you're rejected. There's an automated system where you're getting rejected all the time. So government should intervene and put a system where like you can know the reason and that sort of stuff. But nice. any dangers... I don't think so. Like, it will get to a point where anything is dangerous. But I think there'll be regulations too. But I didn't think about it that much because we're still in the beginning stages of applying it to our daily life. So, Last question I'll ask you before you got to run to class. In terms of the conversations that you have on campus, we talk about this a lot on the show called civil discourse, the ability to talk to people and find common ground on any topic. What is the sentiment like on campus right now among divisive issues, whether it's AI or otherwise? Like, what are you seeing inside the classroom and outside the classroom about people's ability to communicate effectively with each other or not? On campus right now, I, I've been here only for a month or so okay. in the US. So... I haven't spoken to much people, but in my branch itself, when we speak about AI, it's usually, the thing is, it's not about replacing the people who are working in the sector, but using it to create new resources to use. Yeah. So people will still be involved, but they use AI to do the stuff. That is the sort of thing that we talk about usually.